Hey first graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and today we're going to work on Module 2, Lesson 28. Let's look at our objective. Okay, solve addition problems using 10 as a unit and write two-step solutions. What is 8 plus 4? Hmm, what's 8 plus 4? It is 12. Now 12 is 1 10 and 2 1's. 1 10 and 2 1's. We will break apart 4 into 2 and 2. Add 8 to 2 to make 1 10. So we're going to break apart this. This is our original addition problem. 8 plus 4. We're going to break 4 apart into a 2 and 2. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we're going to say that here. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then we have 10 plus 2 more equals 12. What about this one? 8 plus 5. We can break our 5. We're going to do our 2 because 8 plus 2 equals 10. So we're going to do our 2. And then how many do we have here? We have three left, right? So there's three because three and two equals five. Okay, so if eight plus two equals 10, and then 10 plus this three here equals 13. So eight plus five equals 13. Look at this one. Eight plus six, hmm, eight plus six. Remember, 8 plus what equals 10? 8, 9, 10, 2. So we're going to want to put a 2 here because 8 and 2 equal 10, and that makes it easier to add. So we're going to put a 2 here, and then how many more do we need to make up our 6? 2 plus what equals 6? 2 plus 4 equals 6. So now we have 8 plus 2 equals 10. Right here, 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then 10, and we have this 4 more. 10 and 4 more equals 14. Nice work. Let's look at this one. Okay, our number changed. Now we have 9 plus 6. So how many more do we need to get to 10? We have to think about that first. We only need one more to get to 10. So we're gonna put a one here. So nine and one more equals 10. And then how many more will we have here to equal our six? Five, because one plus five equals six. So now, we have 1 plus 9 plus 1 equals 10. So we made our group of 10. And then we have 5 left. 10 plus 5 equals 15. Look at this one. 7 plus 5. So how many will we have to put here? 7, how many more to get to 10? 3 more. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. And then how many more? What's going to go here on our other side? 3 plus 2 equals 5. So 7 plus 3 equals 10. Because we see, notice we keep saying what plus this number, our first number, can get us to 10. Because then it makes it easier to add. Then 10 plus 2 more equals 12. How many 10s are in 12? One 10. How many 1s are in 12? Two 1s. Let's look at this one. 9 plus 7. So first you have to think about how much 
more, how close is 9 to 10? We're only one away. I'll show you this one on my whiteboard. 9 plus 7. Maybe you guys can do it along with me, okay? So we're going to break the 7 up. 9 and 1 more gives us 10. So I'm going to put a 1 here. And then there's 6 more because 1 plus 6 equals 7. So this one's going to be a 6. Now I look here and I add 1. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Right? And then look, I have 6 more. So now I'm going to say 10 plus 6 equals 16, which means 9 plus 7 equals 16. How many 10s are in 16? There is one ten in sixteen. How many ones are in sixteen? There are six ones. So it's one ten and six ones in the number sixteen. Okay. Let's look at it this way. So we have one and six. 9 plus 1 equals our 10, and then 10 plus 6 equals 16. Okay, and that's all for today, friends. You guys did a great job. I'll see you next time. Bye! Have a great day.